Hello everybody, I'm Cam Christo and welcome to the single worst thing in Victoria 3 and otherwise pretty good game. I have just conquered these two provinces, Normandy and Picardy from France. And what I need to do now is set them up such that they're integrated into my economy, right? They're set up the way I want them and uh, they have the right production methods and they're set to auto expand which I want to have on all of my buildings and things like that. I've just worked it out and that would take me, uh, I'd have to change 86 individual settings in order to make that happen. That's one for each production method and one for clicking on here. Noting of course that each click on here is not just one, you have to do two clicks for each of these. So it's probably like, you know, about 140 total clicks it would take to integrate this region into my economy. And frankly, I don't want to do that. I'm just going to quit this campaign because that seems really boring. <laughs> so I want to propose a better system. When you click on here and you select a new thing, by default, it should just set that as the default one. Any new textile mills you acquire, either by constructing them or by building um, new ones or by um, conquering land, are the two options, of course, should automatically go to the one you have set as default. Then, if you go in here and you want them to be different, that's fine, you go in here and you click on it at this level, and then when you click on something here, it sets that as the default for this province. And then if you ever build any more here, obviously they will, they will all conform to that, which is not optional anyway. That seems like a really, really, really simple solution. And I have, I'm baffled as to how the game doesn't have that already, to be honest. Uh, same with automatic expansion, same with subsidizing. When you click these buttons, you set it as the default. If you really want to preserve the ability for people to not do that for some reason, and I don't know why you would, have shift click be that it doesn't do that. Nice, simple, effective. Likewise, when you research a new tech, like, to give a good example, when you research combustion ignition, it's going to unlock loads of new production methods. Well, I don't want to have to go in and manually switch all of these things. Often, not always, admittedly, like with the other situation, but often I want it to ha these to happen. Start researching. Give me a checkbox. A checkbox. You hover over it, and it says, if this box is checked, automatically apply new construction methods. There you go. Easy. Easy fixes that would make Victoria 3 way, way more fun. But tell me what you think in the comments if there are better ways to handle this. I'm, yeah, it's, it's 80... Six. 86 things I would have to change to integrate two provinces into the country. That's madness. It's madness, and frankly, I'm just not doing it. <laughs> but anyway, thank you very much for watching. Oh, sorry, no, actually, one thing, a potential objection. You don't have to do that. Um, you can just leave them as they are. Firstly, this looks horrible, with all these little, <laughs> little bi-directional things. And secondly, yeah, but it's a game about, like, optimizing your production. You don't have to, but if you don't, why are you playing? Like, this is the point. But, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. That's just a little quick rant on, uh, yeah, the worst thing in Victoria 3 at the moment, which is having to manually switch these things over. And I will see you all next time.